Last week on Raw, the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn was met with a devastating attack by the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross, as well as Baron Corbin have been targeting Sami Zayn over the last number of weeks in the middle of their own battle for the Intercontinental Championship. Well, those three men will meet this Saturday night at Vengeance in a triple threat tables matchup to determine the Intercontinental Champion. But right here tonight, kicking us off in moments, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, set to go 1v1 against Sami Zayn's best friend, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. We are live from Crypto.com Arena in the City of Angels for the final Raw before Vengeance this Saturday night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin. Kevin Owens with a lot on his mind regarding vengeance this Saturday as he is set to defend the WWE Championship against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura has been waiting for this one-on-one -on -one encounter since the month of February, blaming Kevin Owens for derailing his momentum on the road to WrestleMania. Kevin Owens came out on top back in the month of March at the grandest stage, holding the richest prize in this industry. Shinsuke Nakamura is looking to make Kevin Owens pay for his sins this Saturday night in Bakersfield, California. There's the Raw exclusive vengeance event, but before Kevin Owens puts that gold up against Nakamura on Saturday, he has got his hands full with one of the two top contenders for the Intercontinental Championship this Saturday night in Bakersfield. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, has been at odds with an old ally in Baron Corbin, but those odds have bled into the Intercontinental Championship title hunt with Sami Zayn. Those three men meet with the tables in play this Saturday night. But of course, before our trip to Bakersfield, we are stopping here in the City of Angels, and the stars are out tonight. The megastar, L.A. Knight, returns home to Los Angeles, California, as he takes on the Nigerian giant, Omos. Both of these men with contests this Saturday at Vengeance, L.A. Knight and Omos, who is going to build momentum towards their following matchups on Saturday night. L.A. Knight, Seth Rollins taking place at Vengeance, Omos, Brunson Reed. The Raw exclusive event is certainly has the capability to change the landscape of the red brand forever. But that is Saturday. This is now Karrion Cross walking down the aisle with purpose, staring down the WWE Champion. These two men coming together after Kevin Owens looking to defend his honor of his best friend, the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, after Karrion Cross put him through a table seven nights ago. There is obvious history between these two men, dating back to the late half of 2023 and bleeding in to the first half of 2024. Who can forget the no disqualification matchup between these two men back at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in January? Kevin Owens, of course, scored the victory on that night. I am sure Karrion Cross never forgot. But here we go, kicking things off on what is going to be a raucous Monday Night Raw, Los Angeles, California, Crypto.com Arena. We are five nights before our trip to Bakersfield for the Raw exclusive Vengeance event. Momentum certainly hangs in the balance on a tension-filled night on the red brand. And wait just a second. The number one contender for the WWE Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura making his way down the aisle right here to ringside to get a closer look at the man he meets in, Ma in Bakersfield, California on Saturday night. Well, this is obvious mind games being played by the King of Strong Style as Kevin Owens stalking Nakamura at ringside. Remember Nakamura threw down the gauntlet two weeks ago, ambushing Kevin Owens from behind after he picked up a victory over AJ Styles here on Raw, hit him with not one, not two, but three King Shasas all around the arena. But here we go, and Kevin Owens needs to keep his eye on this matchup. The number one contender, Shinsuke Nakamura, 
taking a seat here at ringside, trying to play the mind games on the WWE Champion Kevin Owens. Cause him to make a mistake and fall into the trap of the Harbinger of Doom. Karrion Cross looking for victory on the road to his Intercontinental Championship shot this Saturday night. Karrion Cross and Baron Corbin been at odds in the middle of their road towards challenging Sami Zayn. Former allies that have really blown up, not just after WrestleMania, but most importantly in recent weeks here on Raw. Remember Baron Corbin with that huge victory over all by a wounded Sami Zayn a number of weeks ago. Wait a minute, Karrion Cross dropping the WWE Champion. Kevin Owens may be going in to vengeance a wounded competitor. Especially after this onslaught at ringside. Karrion Cross making Kevin Owens look like a stepping stone here on Monday Night Raw. Right in a barricade. It is going to be a high profile night here in Crypto.com Arena. The megastar LA Knight set to go one on one the Nigerian giant Omas days before their individual encounters at Vengeance. Plus, sign the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley going to be at odds with Cora Jade. Jade looking for some payback at the Rhea Ripley's ambush just a few weeks ago. We'll take a closer look at that later tonight here on Raw. Kevin Owens. Trying to get back into this matchup. Karrion Cross turning his back on the wrong superstar. As we were mentioning, that win for Baron Corbin over a wounded Sami Zayn a few weeks ago. Karrion Cross made the most of the back being turned, ambushed Baron Corbin from behind. Those two men have been at odds ever since. But just like Kevin Owens has got to keep his eye on this matchup with Nakamura looming at ringside, Karrion Cross has got to keep his mind in the present. Kevin Owens starting a rally here in Los Angeles over the top rope, taking down one of the top contenders for the Intercontinental Championship. And right in front of the man he meets on Saturday, Shinsuke Nakamura, mind you. Back inside the squared circle we go, carrying Cross maybe feeling a sense of urgency. But Kevin Owens starting to come unglued in your opening matchup tonight. Crypto.com Arena, a raucous crowd on hand. Karrion Cross trying to jock for a position, but Kevin Owens is just on fire right now. And wait a minute, Nakamura ambushing Kevin Owens. Nakamura taking a seat at ringside, getting not only the mind games over the WWE Champion, but now interfering in this match, causing a disqualification. Well, Kevin Owens gonna win this matchup, not because Karrion Cross fell short at the finish line, but because Shinsuke Nakamura taking an ambush, jumping the WWE Champion from behind for the second time in recent weeks. Nakamura has been waiting for this encounter since the month of February, since Kevin Owens pinned his shoulders to the canvas at Saturday night's main event. In the mind of Nakamura, derailing his momentum towards his match with CM Punk at WrestleMania. Yeah. And now Nakamura has come back for revenge. He has kept his receipts, made a list, checked it twice as he told WWE.com weeks ago. And now Nakamura trying to get the edge over Kevin Owens before they meet for the WWE Championship this Saturday night in Bakersfield. Well, somebody's gotta come out here and put an end to this. Kevin Owens obviously looking worse for wear right now. Oh no, Nakamura stalking his prey. Knee to the face! We need to get some damn help out here. Shinsuke Nakamura laying waste to the WWE Champion. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok.
We are back live in Crypto.com Arena, and evidently the street champ Solo Sokoa has requested action here tonight. Behest of us all, Solo before his matchup with Braun Breaker this Saturday wants to make some waves here on Monday Night Raw. Well, Solo Sokoa returned to action a number of weeks ago for the first time since WrestleMania. Obviously picking up a victory, and it looked straight into the eyes of Braun Breaker. Most recently here on Raw said, Breaker, want, you want competition? Look no further than the enforcer himself. Well, now it's Solo Sokoa looking to make a point on the road to vengeance this Saturday. And it looks like Ivar of the Viking Raiders going to be the man who is stepping up to the plate. We got a horse fight here in L.A. And his opponent representing the Viking Raiders. From Valhalla, weighing in at 305 pounds, Ivar! Solo Sokoa looking to build some last minute momentum towards his exchange with the badass Braun Breaker this Saturday night. Breaker came to Raw and wanted competition. Looked towards the locker room and said, who's gonna step up? Solo Sokoa the one to draw the line in the sand. No personal beef, just the competition of the squared circle. Something's gotta give. Who's the better man? We'll find out on Saturday night. And sometimes that's where the best exchanges come to be. Solo and Breaker in Mechanics Bank Arena. This Saturday, May the 11th, but Solo with his hands full with Ivar, the Viking Raiders, as Monday Night Raw continues here at Crypto.com Arena. Solo Sokoa, evidently we're being told this is a challenge he made during our last matchup here moments ago in the locker room, saying he wanted to fight tonight. Ivar, the man to step up. And look at these two superstars trying to throw haymakers at each other. Ivar getting the last laugh momentarily. I don't know if this is a wise move for Solo to take a matchup. But this behemoth known as, I known as Ivar, just days before he steps into the ring with the badass Braun Breaker, whether it's been on Raw or Friday Night SmackDown, Breaker has been on a tear since WrestleMania. Braun Breaker has picked up victories over the rated R superstar Edge, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Viper Randy Orton, the Giant Omos. Came to Raw and ran over Ashante the Adonis a few weeks ago. Breaker even was within inches of winning the World Heavyweight Championship to the ring general Gunther back at Backlash last month. Could have been bringing the World Championship over here to Raw. But nonetheless, Solo Sokoa answering Braun Breaker's challenge a few weeks ago. Breaker wanted competition. Solo looking to show him tonight why he is the competition that the badass needs. It's a competitive sport, no doubt about it. And two young superstars like the street champ and the badass, both jockeying for position, looking to take the next step here on Monday Night Raw. Who will that man be? We'll find out on Saturday. Right now, Solo just needs to focus on surviving this behemoth Viking known as Ivar. Where's the Viking Raiders drafted to Monday Night Raw a number of weeks ago? Ivar the first to see competition here on the Red Brand. Solo Sokoa getting fired up. The street champ getting his head on straight as of late. Bringing things back down to size. Letting the actions in the middle of the ring do his speaking for him. Ivar looking to show Solo Sokoa that he might have ran his mouth a little bit too much in the locker room. Throwing out this challenge tonight. All remains to be seen if the street champ bit off more than he can chew. Or, or if he's going to be able to survive. The much larger, stronger competitor. Still so much to come here in Crypto.com Arena tonight. Cora Jade, Rhea Ripley, 1v1. LA Knight, just square toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Certainly not face-to-face -face with the Nigerian giant Omas right here in his hometown of Los Angeles. All that on your way to Vengeance this Saturday night. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. Look at Ivar off the middle buckle. Enough to crush the average competitor, but Solo Sokoa is not the average man. They don't call him the street champ for nothing. Solo Sokoa has earned his stay. Oh no, 
Big time, belly to belly, great strength being shown, muscling down the big man. And now again, going for the double, hits it flush. Using Ivar's own momentum against him here. And now a spinning solo. Great strength being shown by the Enforcer. And it leads to a big time victory on the road to vengeance. Oh, wait a minute. You hear those sirens, you know what's coming next. The badass Braun Breaker is in Los Angeles. Solo Sokoa stood down Breaker a few weeks ago. Breaker returning the favor. These two men, hungry for competition, hungry to take the next step on Raw, collide this Saturday night in Bakersfield, California at Vengeance. Well, as announced this past Saturday night at SmackDown's Battleground, we got a big live career event on the horizon. It is coming your way Memorial Day, May 27th from San Antonio, Texas, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Stay tuned for All Star Raw. We want to take you back to earlier tonight, Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross kicking things off in the middle of battle here in Los Angeles, California. The number one contender for the WWE title, Shinsuke Nakamura, ambushing the champion, instituting a beatdown days before vengeance. Well, for what we understand, Kevin Owens just went to management and demanded this match take place tonight, and it is going to be signed, sealed, and set to be delivered right here tonight on Raw. The champions, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, take on their vengeance opponents, Shinsuke Nakamura and Karrion Cross. Kevin Owens, Nakamura, and Cross back inside the squared circle in tag team action tonight on Raw. Tensions riding at an all time high on the road to vengeance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora and you want to talk about tensions riding high, look no further than the women's division as of late. Let's take you back to two weeks ago, Cora Jade at the inside cradle, scoring a huge victory over the buff Barbie Tiffany Stratton. However, it was a short-lived celebration thanks to the new number one contender for the women's title, the Eradicator Rhea Ripley, ambushing Cora Jade, one for Tiffany Stratton as well. The attacks and the chaos by Rhea Ripley did not stop there. Later that night, ambushing Bianca Belair from behind, just last week, laid out Liv Morgan with her own WWE Women's title. Rhea Ripley has been on a tear here on Monday Night Raw, all ahead of getting another shot at the gold she lost back at WrestleMania. Tonight, Rhea Ripley looks to build some more momentum, but for Cora Jade, it's about payback, and it's about proving to Rhea Ripley that she will not be her stepping stone on the road to a championship fight this Saturday night. The woman who held the WWE Women's title with an iron fist from September to March looks to do it all over again starting this Saturday. It is the trilogy fight for the third time in 2024. Liv Morgan locks horns with Rhea Ripley. The defending champion in Liv Morgan has so much to prove. Was her win at WrestleMania two months ago a fluke or does she have what it takes to rule over the division without Rhea Ripley on her horizon? That is a scary sight for the rest of the women's division. Rhea Ripley championship or not, has solidified herself as one of the top stars in this company and has solidified herself as a force to be reckoned with in the women's division. And if you question that statement, just look at the brutality that the nightmare has instituted over the last few weeks on Raw. Cora Jade found out firsthand. Now she looks for retribution here tonight in crypto. Hey, Ripley extending the hint. Oh, of course. 
Should have known better. Cora Jade not taking Kylie to that disrespect. Rhea Ripley extending the hand, trying to play mind games with Cora Jade. Jade saying, I ain't here to play your games. The matchup has started at Cora Jade right at the Eradicator. Cora Jade with a huge victory over Tiffany Stratton two weeks ago. A celebration was not to be had. Thanks to Rhea Ripley. Jade not looking to take that disrespect kindly, especially after Rhea Ripley just pulled away the hand moments ago. I don't know if Cora Jade made the smart decision that time. You gotta respect the decision, but a slap to the face of the Eradicator might have just pissed off one of the most dominating women in WWE history. Look at Cora Jade with her foot on the gas pedal to the outside of the crossbody. The number one contender for the WWE Women's title is in trouble at the current moment. Rhea Ripley with a victory over Katana Chance about three weeks ago here on Raw. And has been laying waste to superstars left and right ever since. Cora Jade looking to step up for the division even before Liv Morgan gets her crack at the Nightmare this Saturday. Easier said than done when you're in there with, as we mentioned, one of the most dominant women in WWE history, member of the Judgment Day, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Women's Money in the Bank holder last year held the WWE Women's Championship for damn near eight months here on Monday Night Raw. As voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley has been reminding the women's division just why she has earned those titles. And if Cora Jade didn't know, well, she is finding out firsthand. Rhea Ripley making Cora Jade feel the punishment here tonight in Los Angeles, California. And speaking of punishment, before Baron Corbin possibly goes through punishment in a tables matchup on Saturday, tune into Velocity on TikTok on Wednesday. One of the challengers to the Intercontinental Gold at Vengeance, Baron Corbin will be in action this Wednesday only on Velocity. Meanwhile, Cora Jade, Luthez pressed to Rhea Ripley. That's what Cora's got to do in this matchup. Do what she did at the top of the bell. Stick, move, and move fast. Obviously, the smaller competitor, Rhea Ripley, with the size and strength advantage in this matchup. Cora Jade being muscled down to the canvas once more. Rhea Ripley did not take kindly to that loss back at WrestleMania. What many believes was a fluke for Liv Morgan on the grandest stage. Liv Morgan went on to retain her title against Tiffany Stratton at Backlash. And I mean no disrespect to the up and coming buff Barbie when I say this, but Rhea Ripley is just on a different level. Rhea Ripley made a mistake, no doubt about it at WrestleMania. Liv Morgan hit the oblivion out of nowhere and capitalized to win the women's title. But was it just a freak accident for the nightmare? Will Rhea Ripley right that wrong this Saturday in Bakersfield? Or will Liv Morgan be able to prove her doubters wrong and prove her supporters correct? All remains to be seen. Right now, Cora Jade is getting a beatdown delivered firsthand by the Eradicator of the Judgment Day. And I think Rhea Ripley is enjoying it. Rhea Ripley is sending a message to the WWE Women's Champion tonight, hoping Liv Morgan is watching. Cora Jade trying to hustle up. Rhea Ripley cleaning her clock. My goodness. Size, strength, and downright grittiness is what Rhea Ripley brings to the table as she looks for victory over Cora J tonight. What about the news we found out moments ago? A bonus main event on hand. The stars will be out here in Los Angeles. The WWE Champion Kevin Owens walking back down the aisle with the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn as they take on the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. A tag team matchup signed, sealed, and set to be delivered right here tonight as we close out the final Monday Night Raw before Vengeance this Saturday. Cora Jade, now or never needs to get back into this matchup. It's been a gutsy performance for Cora Jade to try to outlast everything Rhea Ripley has thrown at her thus far. 
easier said than done is victory over a woman who once ruled with an iron fist. Look at Cora Jade not backing down. I'll tell you, that slap across the face might have been aggressive Rhea Ripley. Might have awoken an aggressive Rhea Ripley, excuse me, at the beginning of this matchup. It also could have motivated Cora Jade. Nonetheless, a comeback being cut short. Rhea Ripley just trying to make Jade feel the punishment, but again, Cora not backing down. Reversal that time. Cora looking to remind Rhea Ripley that we may be entering a generation of Jade here on Monday Night Raw. Cora wants her shot. And a victory over the Nightmare tonight would not only be a huge upset, but could certainly put Cora Jade in line for WWE Women's Championship opportunity. Rhea Ripley creating some distance. These two women jockeying for position here. Back and forth we start to go. Everyone throwing haymakers and throwing elbows. Creating some distance and trying to close the gap on their own accord. A mean overhand shot. Nothing fancy about it. And a boot right to the face. You want to talk about nothing fancy. Look no further. Rhea Ripley with her eyes locked on Cora Jade. Cora Jade is in trouble. Down she goes off the riptide. It is academic from here. Rhea Ripley may be nearing another reign at the top of the division. Liv Morgan has got her hands full. The trilogy fight is on. Will Liv survive the Eradicator this Saturday? Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley victorious again. She has reminded the women's division just who the hell she is over the last several weeks. Are we looking at the next WWE Women's Champion as we... Wait, wait a minute. What if Baron Corbin carrying Cross backstage? Well, Karrion Cross, who is set to come back out here later tonight, compete in the main event. Baron Corbin, who signed for Velocity this Wednesday, and of course, both of these men set to compete in the tables matchup on Saturday night. The issues between these two men have been caught in the crosshairs of the Intercontinental Championship chase. Oh, wait a minute. Baron Corbin looking to repeat history for a second time, putting Karrion Cross through a table in the backstage area. The road to vengeance continues to be a tumultuous one. Coming up this Saturday night, it is an all-star collision between the self-proclaimed megastar LA Knight and the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. These two men have been at odds right here on Monday Night Raw over the last few months, and it really all started with both men targeting the same end goal, the WWE Championship. Once LA Knight threw his name in that conversation, looking to get a shot at Kevin Owens for the gold, Seth freaking Rollins did not take very kindly of it. Of course, already brewing issues between these two men when LA Knight called out Seth Rollins on social media for leaving him high and dry in a tag team match prior to WrestleMania. Well, these two men were at odds for weeks on the road to Backlash, and then in the middle of the fatal four-way matchup several weeks ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico, you see right there, Seth Rollins within moments of winning the WWE title, LA Knight breaking things up, Rollins turns his attention to the megastar, and as you'll see in this sequence of events, down goes LA Knight, now the back turned, Bobby Lashley takes advantage, takes out Seth Rollins, a few moments later, Kevin Owens retaining the WWE Championship. Seth Rollins, of course, not blaming himself for the loss in San Juan, Puerto Rico. However, putting the blame on the megastar LA Knight, saying LA Knight's aspirations to become WWE Championship interfered with his own. Over the last few weeks, they have been at odds in the middle of their own individual contest. Seth Rollins costing Knight a matchup against Shinsuke Nakamura a few weeks ago. Rollins trying to flee his match with Dijak last week. LA Knight not allowing it. Well, no matter the issues, they're going to come to a head and culminate once and for all this Saturday in Bakersfield. 
But here tonight, it's a homecoming in the City of Angels for the Mega Star. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds. L.A. Knight looking to break the sound barrier here on Crypto.com Arena. The megastar has been making waves here on Monday Night Raw. Hot off the heels of one hell of an Intercontinental Championship reign a few months ago, L.A. Knight has had his eyes on moving up the ranks. And certainly the megastar supporters came out in droves here in Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. LA Knight with a tall, literally, task ahead of him before he gets his hands on Seth freaking Rollins this Saturday. The Nigerian giant, Omas, who looks to get rid of his own personal issue with the big Brunson Reed. This, wait a minute. Why is Seth freaking Rollins out here? And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant Omos! Well, you know, this matchup between LA Knight and Omos really has nothing to do with Seth freaking Rollins, but it looks like the visionary has gotten into the ear of the Giant and he has allowed himself to walk down the aisle with the big man tonight. Seth Rollins looking to get a closer look at the man he meets on Saturday. Or really what we should say is looking to get into the mind of LA Knight. A lot of pressure, a lot of spotlight on the megastar tonight, performing in front of his hometown crowd in Los Angeles, California. And now he looks in, or at least tries to look in, to the eyes of Omos all the while keeping Seth freaking Rollins in the back of his mind. Dare I say, the odds may be stacked against the man at ringside as Monday Night Raw continues from this great city. Nonetheless, Seth freaking Rollins at ringside. LA Knight gonna have to keep his eyes on that X Factor. But here we go, Knight, Omos, locking horns, ahead of vengeance on Saturday. This is going to be a tough puzzle to figure out for the megastar. Omos has been making some waves since being drafted to Monday Night Raw last month. Owns a victory over one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Jey Uso. A few weeks ago stood, or I should say stared down Big Brunson Reed after Reed's matchup right here on the red brand against Jinder Mahal. Moss really drew the line in the sand on that night, saying, listen, there's only room for one big man, and I know you've been dominant, but I'm coming for your spot. Well, Moss and Reed get a lock horns in a colossal battle this Saturday night. Right now, LA Knight trying to find a way to keep down the big man. There's a way to knock him down momentarily. Rare springboard out of the arsenal by the megastar. But well, look how Omos already back to his feet in a monstrous headbutt for that oversized dome. And there's one thing we always say about Omos, it's one thing to knock him down, it's a whole other thing to keep him there, and LA Knight finding that out firsthand while being thrown into the waiting arms of the man he meets on Saturday, Seth freaking Rollins. And Rollins really has no business putting his hands on LA Knight. Obviously, referee John Cone gonna give it a little bit of leeway here. But Seth Rollins looking to be an X Factor and derail any momentum that LA Knight's got on his side before they encounter this Saturday at Vengeance. Yeah. LA Knight trying to rally with Los Angeles behind him. Oof. Little Moss throwing some haymakers and an elbow and a clothesline. LA Knight looking like he doesn't know what hit him. Easier said than none. Is knocking down the big man. Another shot. Got to be taking a toll, and there we go. These two combustible elements going at each other here tonight in Crypto.com Arena. Knight using the momentum of the big man and the speed of the ropes. They're trying to knock Omos down to his feet at ringside. And he might be getting caught between a rock and a hard place. 
LA Knight off the apron here. Now Omos sending him right into the steel steps as if Omos needs those diamond-plated steps to institute a beatdown on the megastar. They don't call LA Knight defiant for nothing. Held the Intercontinental Championship from last July all the way to WrestleMania where he lost it to Sami Zayn. And ever since then, LA Knight has gotten up, brushed himself off, and has been targeting a shot for the WWE Championship. One that he got in the Fatal 4-Way at Backlash. Now he looks to get rid of his issues with Seth freaking Rollins. But first, he's got to survive Omos. And the elbow knocks him down again. Drop of the knee. Anyway, Seth Rollins on the quarter, taking off the turnbuckle pad. LA Knight's got no ideas. He's getting fired up, but there's nobody home. And Omos send it LA Knight right over the ropes off the crash and burn. Another counter by the megastar. LA Knight trying to do all he can to stick and move. However, no matter where the megastar roams, LA Knight is getting caught in the crosshairs of the giant. Knocks him down momentarily. Wait a minute, the back is turned. Referee John Cone fixing up that turnbuckle. Seth freaking Rollins interfering in this matchup. Taking LA Knight's eye off the ball and distracting the referee, maybe costing LA Knight the victory. Now what? LA Knight into the corner. Getting squashed by the giant. And oh no, double-handed choke slam, save maneuver that beat Jey Uso a number of weeks ago. LA Knight able to survive, but how much was taken out out of that defiant megastar? Los Angeles trying to rally here, and oh my goodness, where is Omos going? Going to the top rope, LA Knight luckily avoiding disaster. Oh, come on now! LA Knight's eye being taken off the ball by Seth freaking Rollins, and he gets leveled with a clothesline! The Megastar has got the odds stacked against him tonight. The big man in Omos, Seth freaking Rollins, the X Factor. LA Knight is in desperate trouble right now! Rollins trying to play one last game with a defiant superstar before they lock horns at vengeance. And I'll tell you what, going toe to toe with a Nigerian giant, certainly not something you want to do before a high profile match. But nonetheless, LA Knight finds himself in this predicament tonight. Win, lose, or draw may not be going into his matchup with Rollins on Saturday anywhere near 100%. Well, I try to create some distance. Unloaded on the big man. Has the megastar got anything left? Full head of steam again, and this time does not get his desired outcome. LA Knight getting sent flying over the top rope by a drop down from Omos. LA Knight finding himself in the driver's seat again. Now coming off the apron this time, going for the elbow, but for the second time in this match, a variation elbow does not work out. Oh no, not on the outside. Show slam on the floor of Crypto.com Arena. LA Knight's body is going to be broken before he even steps into the ring with the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins on Saturday night. LA Knight trying to get to his feet. Has suffered a lot of falls in this matchup. And maybe suffering another one. Omos, dangerous as ever. Wow. And I'd say with an asterisk, thanks to the interference by Seth freaking Rollins taking LA Knight's eye off the ball. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Landon, we're getting some news here. 
regarding the tag team main event that's coming up in moments. Karrion Cross and that backstage brawl with Baron Corbin moments before this matchup kicked off. Evidently, Cross has stormed out of the building. Karrion Cross has left Shinsuke Nakamura high and dry, and Nakamura is going to need to find a new tag team part. This tag team match is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Owens and Zayn set to go 2v2. Nakamura's got to find a tag team partner. The hell is going on tonight? Well, it has been a chaotic night here on Raw, but all roads lead to Mechanics Bank Arena this Saturday in Bakersfield, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Monday Night Raw exclusive, Vengeance. The Giant Omas, successful moments ago with the behest of Seth freaking Rollins in his corner, but Saturday he does it alone. He drew the line in the sand, saying there's only room for one big man here on Monday Night Raw. He squares off with big, Brunson Reed. Well, Karrion Cross was set to compete once more coming up in moments, but evidently has stormed out of the building out of anger thanks to Baron Corbin's attack. Nonetheless, all three of these men will be in the ring at the same time this Saturday. Tables are in play just as they've been on the road to the occasion. Intercontinental Championship hangs in the balance. Will Sami Zayn be able to survive? Solo Sokoa victorious earlier tonight and then stood toe to toe with the badass Braun Breaker. A matchup drawn together by pure competition. Who takes the next step in their Monday Night Raw career? Will it be the badass or will it be the street champ? It is the WrestleMania rematch the WWE Universe has been waiting for since the month of March. Tornado tag rules just as the Judgment Day requested. Damian Priest and Finn Balor look to win back the World Tag Team Championships against Jay and Jimmy Uso. They have had luck in Tornado Tag rules before. Will it pay them dividends all over again? Well, there is absolutely no way that the megastar LA Knight is going to be going into this contest at 100%, but win, lose, or draw. LA Knight going to drag his carcass into Bakersfield and try to get even with the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Both men with the same end goal in mind to challenge for the WWE Championship in the near future. The winner may be getting that prize. And speaking of prizes, it is the trilogy fight for the WWE Women's title. Liv Morgan is going to have the odds stacked against her against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Rhea has been on a tear for weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Can Liv Morgan prove that her victory at WrestleMania was not a fluke? Or will we once again be living in the era of the Eradicator? And Shinsuke Nakamura has been salivating at his fingertips for this matchup for months. And as we saw earlier tonight, laying out Kevin Owens once more with another King Shasta. They will meet in the tag team main event in moments, but this Saturday night it is one-on-one. -on -one. Nakamura gets his crack at Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. All of that action is coming your way live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. Vengeance gonna be one hell of an event just as it's been here tonight in the City of Angels. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has been on a roller coaster ride as the Intercontinental Champion. Unfortunately, has fallen short in some non title matches, but has had the luck on his side when the gold is on the line. Sami Zayn obviously went into that match with Baron Corbin a few weeks ago, nowhere near 100%, seven days removed from a championship fight. But Zayn not one to make excuses. He's up on his feet, he's brushing himself off. And if he's gotta put Corbin and or cross through a table on Saturday to retain his title, well you best believe Sami Zayn is gonna show up for the fight. And it's the second time tonight that this man is gonna lace up a pair of boots for a matchup of fisticuffs. And his partner from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin. 
Well, Kevin Owens shaking off the cobwebs, demanding he get back in the ring with Karrion Cross and Shinsuke Nakamura tonight. And that was to be up until Baron Corbin put Karrion Cross through a table in the backstage area. Karrion Cross storming out of Crypto.com Arena, for what we understand, and Shinsuke Nakamura, hopefully for his sake, has found a new tag team partner. Or else I assume this matchup is going to go on without a hitch and become a two-on-one handicap match. All remains to be seen. This tag team main event, not something we expected when we went live on the air tonight with Monday Night Raw. Nonetheless, as we have said multitudes of times, tensions are riding at an all-time high in the Raw locker room ahead of Engines this Saturday. What more could we have expected? And it looks like Nakamura has found a tag team partner. A man who fell short against Kevin Owens a few weeks ago, I am sure is looking to even the odds in the midst of tag team combat here in Los Angeles, California. AJ Styles alongside the OC recently drafted to Monday Night Raw stood toe to toe with the WWE Champion Kevin Owens in the main event two weeks ago. A great performance by the former United States Champion over on SmackDown but his return to Monday Night Raw not going the phenomenal way. But now AJ Styles filling the shoes of Karrion Cross in this main event. And the phenomenal one has got an opportunity to not only right that wrong from two weeks ago, but going 2v2 against a pair of champions. Styles could be looming in championship conversations if he comes out on top tonight. And alongside the number one contender for the WWE title, this could be a dangerous duo. Shinsuke Nakamura has already left Kevin Owens laying with multitudes of King Shasta's over the last few weeks, just as early, I just said, I should say just as latest as earlier tonight. Nakamura's been the aggressor on the road to vengeance. You gotta believe the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, I'm sure is a little banged up after his exchange with Karrion Cross, his matchup at the top of the hour that led to a disqualification victory thanks to Nakamura. But the beatdown after the matchup, the icing on the cake of that fight. One thing we know about Kevin Owens is whether he's 100%, 50%, or damn near, Running on E, he's gonna drag his body down to the ring and he is gonna fight like his life depends on it. That is how he became the WWE Champion back at WrestleMania. That is how he won the Royal Rumble match earlier this year. And I am sure that is how Kevin Owens plans to try to retain his title on Saturday. But we could be looking at the next in line. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, has played his cards right. And he has gotten the match he wanted. The WWE title's on the line on Saturday. Now Nakamura with a chance to build that much more momentum in a tag team matchup. And how befitting. But the final stop before Vengeance, a tag team exchange, just as it was a few months ago on Saturday night's main event, a tag team match that started it all between Nakamura and Kevin Owens. Well, nonetheless, AJ Styles, Nakamura's hand-selected tag team partner, thanks to Karrion Cross's exit from the building tonight. And now we have... This is as close to impromptu as we can get. Tag team main event right here, just five nights before Bakersfield. AJ Styles in there with the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Certainly not what we expected at the top of the hour. But the road to vengeance has been tumultuous and roadblocks for so many Raw superstars. Kevin Owens wanted to fight whether it was a wise decision or not. For these two champions to take this matchup ahead of defending their gold, here we are, live and now. And I'm sure AJ Styles isn't complaining about the opportunity that just presented himself. 
A chance to right the wrong against Kevin Owens from a few weeks ago and a chance to put himself in championship conversations. Dropping the Intercontinental Champion right on the apron. Oh, nice reversal by Sami Zayn that time. Intercontinental Champion trying to get his wherewithal, but Styles taking advantage once more. The phenomenal one looking to prove why he has earned that nickname. And now over the top with a forearm. Down goes the Intercontinental Champion at ringside. It's been a bumpy road heading towards vengeance for the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Retaining his title against Carmelo Hayes back at the draft lottery last month. One week later, stood toe-to-toe -to -toe against Baron Corbin. Did not go into that matchup 100% after that physical encounter with Melo. Came up short against a man he now meets on Saturday. Almost scored the victory here tonight. Sammy was able to bounce back against Cedric Alexander last week. A celebration was not to be. Thanks to the highlights you saw at the top of the hour, carrying Cross putting Sami Zayn right through a table. Now Zayn trying to get back into this matchup in a great duo's action. Well, the longtime best friends, the KO and Sami show, have been a focal point of the red brand for several years at this point. And the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, feeling the effects of the fight from the top of the hour or not, is going to give this matchup all he has. AJ Styles, much needed tag to the number one contender, Shinsuke Nakamura. Who makes a beeline for the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Nakamura delivering a knee, maybe a kick, whatever it was, right to the jawline of Sami. But there's Sami Zayn, the underdog from the underground, never backing down. Nakamura into the corner. Sami Zayn not looking to come up short in another non-title contest, especially five nights out. From his title could be taken away from him, not even being pinned or made to submit. Tables match on Saturday. But Kevin Owens now getting his hands on the man who laid him out earlier tonight, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm sure Kevin Owens wants to get his hands on Nakamura just as much as Nakamura has wanted to get his hands on Kevin Owens ever since the month of February. And now they are meeting in the middle of tag team battle once more. I'll tell you, as we already know, it's a whole different game plan. It's a whole different playing field when it is one-on-one -on -one in the WWE Championship. Hangs in the balance. Kevin Owens has already successfully retained his title. Not once, but twice since winning it back in the main event of the show of shows at WrestleMania when he beat Seth freaking Rollins. It's Nakamura We're going to continue his beatdown over the champion himself. Kevin Owens retaining that title back in the first Raw of the season in Madison Square Garden against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus as well as surviving the fatal four-way matchup at Backlash, pinning the almighty Bobby Lashley. Saw some of those highlights earlier tonight. And Nakamura has played the most personal game with Kevin Owens, no doubt about it. And with Nakamura daydreaming about this contest since the month of February, you gotta believe Shinsuke has put together a game plan Full proof to take down Kevin Owens on Saturday night. Kevin Owens getting a first class preview of what may be to come in the Mechanics Bank Arena. A couple of knees right to the Chrome Dome of the WWE Champion. Kevin Owens in enemy territory here. Not where he wants to be. Five nights before a title defense. Going for an exploder that time. Nakamura countered. Owens countered. Owens jockeying for position, just trying to get the upper hand, but Nakamura, just as the road to vengeance has continued to be, gets the upper hand over Kevin Owens. There's another reversal that time. Nakamura has laid Kevin Owens out with a total of four King Shasas over the last several weeks. Tag made of the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Tag made of the phenomenal AJ Styles, and here we go. The stars are out here in Los Angeles, California. Certainly an all-star main event here on Raw just a few weeks before Memorial Day when we get to all-star Raw, a special live premiere event in San Antonio, Texas. Sami 
Sami Zayn dropping the knee. Another tag made of the WWE Champion. The champions trying to keep each other as fresh as possibly can be. But AJ Styles getting dropped. Could be victory that time. Styles with more left in the tank. Wait a minute. Maybe not for long. A little stunner to AJ Styles. But Shinsuke Nakamura saying, not again, Kevin Owens. You're not going to derail my momentum in a tag team matchup for the second time in recent months. Nakamura's been on a tear over the last few months, ever, or I should say last month and change here since his Monday Night Raw return. Victory over The Miz, victory over LA Knight. Looking for victory one more time. Sami Zayn back into this matchup and Styles drops him. Enziguri kick. Phenomenal not looking to come up short. And his second outing since his Monday Night Raw return, especially in an impromptu one. It was supposed to be carrying Cross out here, squaring off with Sami Zayn and the man he met at the top of the hour, Kevin Owens. After Baron Corbin put Karrion Cross to that table, Cross got himself up and said, you know what? I don't need this. I'm saving my energy for Saturday and stormed out of Crypto.com Arena. Nakamura left high and dry. Whether he chose AJ Styles or Styles stepped up to the plate, regardless of how it came, Styles is now in the middle of this main event and he's looking to roll towards a victory. Down goes the Intercontinental Champion. And now AJ Styles looking for the calf crusher. Sami Zayn in trouble, but AJ Styles, unwise decision there, locking that hold in enemy territory. Down goes Styles again, and down goes the WWE Champion. Down goes Sami Zayn again, I should say. Now Zayn and Kevin Owens in trouble in your Monday Night Raw main event. Sami Zayn breaking the hold. Back inside the ring, however. Back and forth, AJ Styles goes with Sami Zayn momentarily. Styles not looking to allow a weakened Intercontinental Champion to make a tag to a fired up WWE Champion. Kevin Owens victorious by disqualification earlier tonight. Will it be a winning night for that man or will Styles and Nakamura be the kryptonite. Going for another brain buster here. Sami Zayn goes behind. Muscle Styles down to the canvas. AJ Styles been in control for the last number of minutes. The Intercontinental Champion, however, may be desperate for victory. Tag made of the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Styles on his tail. AJ Styles wrestling his style of match at the moment, no pun intended. Kevin Owens now looking to make AJ Styles ever regret signing up for this tag team main event. Kevin Owens wanted Karrion Cross as well as Shinsuke Nakamura. He got AJ Styles as a substitute. And Kevin Owens dishing it right back to AJ Styles right now. Another tag made of the Intercontinental Champion. The champions again, as we mentioned, keeping each other fresh in this contest. Sami Zayn going behind. Half Nelson dropping AJ Styles on his dome. Nakamura looking unimpressed as ever. Into the corner. Hold the kick to the phenomenal one. Sami Zayn into the cover. And I think Nakamura is picking a different battle. The champion's victorious. Here are your winners. The team of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I think Shinsuke Nakamura in that moment took the mind of Karrion Cross. said, I don't need this. I'll fight my battle on Saturday. AJ Styles, the casualty for the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn show. Will those two champions come out on top when the gold is on the line this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time when Monday Night Raw presents Vengeance?